So given a linear system of three equations and three variables, such as this one, x minus 3y plus 2z is equal to 1, x minus 2y plus 3z is equal to 5, and then 2x minus 6y plus 4z is equal to 3. First thing we should do is label our equations. So we're going to call them 1, 2, and 3. That's just to keep organization to kind of um, let you know where you're at. And now the goal is to pick, first pick the variable that we want to get rid of. And usually the easiest variable is the one with the least coefficients. So it looks like the x might be the easiest to get rid of in this case. Mm -hmm. So now that we've decided that, what we do is we pick two different pairs of equations and get rid of the x variable in both. So now notice that if I take equations 1 and 2, and if I multiply equation 1 by negative 1, then we're going to get a negative x up here, and then when you add it to the positive x from equation 2, it's going the, the x's are going to cancel out. So let's do that. So let's multiply equation 1 by negative 1 first. So we're going to get negative x plus 3y minus 2z is equal to 1. And then the second equation we're just going to write as is. Because remember the goal is just to cancel out the x's. So x minus 2y plus 3z is equal to 5. So when we add these two together, the x's are going to cancel out. We're going to be left with y plus z is equal to 6. Let's write that plus out a little better. There you go. So we're going to be left with y plus z is equal to 6, which we're going to call equation 4. Again, just for organizational sake. Now, now that we picked 1 and 2, we have to pick a different pair. So we either have to pick the pair of equations 1 and 3 or 2 and 3. Now notice if we pick 1 and 3 and we multiply equation 1 by negative 2, then in the x-coordinate, we're going to be getting, on the first equation, we're going to be getting negative 2x, which will cancel out with 2x from equation 3. Um, let's write this out to show you what I mean. So multiply negative 2 times equation 1. So we're going to get negative 2x plus 6y minus 4z is equal to negative 2. That's just multiplying negative 2 by every single term. And then equation 3, we're going to write as is. So 2x minus 6y plus 4z is equal to 3. Now note that the two, that the x's cancel out because they're additive inverses. But as it turns out, the six, the y's are also additive inverses and so are the z's. So on the right side of the equation, we end up getting 0. But on the left side of the equation, we end up getting 3 minus 2, which is 1. Now this is what's known as a false statement. And, and you can see where the term comes from because 0 is never equal to 1, so saying that it is equal to 1 isn't true. So as it turns out, since we, got, since we have a false statement, since all of the variables canceled, or were eliminated, in other words, and we are left with a false statement, we have what's known as an inconsistent um, system. And you might remember this term from when we were doing the two-variable case, when it was just x and y. Now in x, y, and z, these two equations, equations 1 and 3, are inconsistent. That means that there are no points that they share in common. So since the equations 1 and 3 have no points that they share in common, then certainly none of these three equations share any points in common. Thus, 
there is no solution to the system. So there is no solution to this system, which is what happens when we do have an inconsistent system in the three-variable case as well as the two-variable case.